So if you're not here for a 15 minute brow video, this video may not be for you. So hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I am Hannah and today I'm going to show you guys how I get my perfect, even, thick, filled in eyebrows with two products from the drugstore. Yes, that is right. This is going to be two products that are very, very affordable and they give you the perfect brows. I'm going to show you guys how to fill in your brows. I'm going to show you guys how to get a good shape on your brows. I'm going to show you guys how to get even brows. And I'm going to show you guys how to make sure that you utilize every single hair that is left on your face. So if you guys are interested on how to get these perfect brows, make sure that you guys do keep on watching. If you guys like this series as far as a back to basics type of tutorials, make sure you guys do let me know down below. Don't be afraid to hit subscribe. You can click on my face in this corner right here. Easily hit subscribe. I see you guys. I see those people that are watching these videos and they're not subscribed yet. So if you guys are subscribed, thank you. If you guys are not, hi, come on in. Hello gorgeous. We like fashion. We like makeup. We like home decor on this channel. So if you guys like any of those things, Things, hit subscribe and yeah let's get into this video in order to have your brows snatched we need to talk about products so the first product that I want to talk about is the instant brow lift pencil this is from elf cosmetics and this retails for two dollars and it is probably one of the best pencils that is on the market usually when I'm looking for this pencil it is always sold out so if I can go to Ulta and they have like five or six of them I will literally buy five or six of them this is the first product that I would highly recommend it does come in a few colors I believe I am in neutral brown so I would highly recommend this if you are a girl on a budget and you want to just get your brows snatched so I'm gonna quickly zoom you in we're gonna throw on the pencil. I'm gonna show you guys how to get a perfect brow and then we'll move on to the next product. All right, as you guys can see, my brows are completely gone. I do have very light hair naturally. I know the red is a little deceiving, but naturally I do have a very light hair color. I don't have anything on and my brows are very, very sparse. Now there is hair there, but there's not as much as I would like, but I want to utilize the hair that I do have. What we're going to do is I'm going to take the spoolie end and I'm going to brush my brows straight up. This is going to do is it is going to expose that natural line that my brow has and then what I also really like to do is I like to shave off the tail end of my brow. For me, I feel like this shape is a little bit more flattering where normally my brow grows very like almost straight across and I just don't feel like that lifts up my face as much as I would like it to. So we're going to take the spoolie end, like I said before, we're going to brush up these hairs and expose that natural line that each of these brows have. I don't necessarily pluck my eyebrows. I was a 90s baby, trust me. I plucked my eyebrows and that is probably the reason why my brows are not as thick, but my mom also doesn't really have thick eyebrows, so I'm sure I got that from her. So what I'm gonna do is obviously roll up the pencil. The first line that we are going to draw out, and just a forewarning, this is going to be so detail-oriented, you are not even gonna know what to do with yourself. So if you're not here for a 15 minute brow video, this video may not be for you. So, but I'm here for you sparse eyebrow ladies out there that want thick, luscious brows. And I'm going to start to draw this line here on both brows. I'm only going to do the line up until the tail. And then from the tail end of my brow, I'm literally going to basically just go straight out. If naturally you can't do like a perfect horizontal line, don't don't do that because it's going to look weird. But if you want to shave off your eyebrows and do a horizontal line, you can. However, I do still want a little bit of an arch. So just from where this line naturally falls, I'm going to take my pencil and try to go as straight out as I possibly can, still maintaining this natural arch in my eyebrow that I normally have. With that being said, do not do not feel the need to completely shave off your eyebrows in order to accomplish this look. Just don't. If you don't want to shave off your eyebrows, you don't want to shave off the tail end of your eyebrows, you do not have to. I personally do just because I feel like it's the most flattering for my eyebrow. It is very handy to not only have a hand mirror in front of you, but to also have a large mirror in front of you. So if I'm looking this way, it's because I have a big full length mirror that is about six feet away from me. The reason I like having a fuller mirror and even at my vanity, I will do it or when I'm in my bathroom, I will have a hand mirror. I will have a big mirror and I will kind of look back and forth to kind of figure out if my eyebrows are like even because up close they may look even and then all of a sudden you look and they'll be like this and that ain't cute. Now 
There is concealer, there is a bunch of products that if you do mess up your brow, you can't even it out, whatever, you can just lightly conceal it, take a little bit on your brush, and just kind of erase it. I also recommend doing this on a wet base. And also, I do recommend using this pencil over a base as well. It can get a little waxy on natural skin, but on foundation, it is perfect. Next step. So naturally, most people want to go from here and fill that part in. No, 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 no. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start from the tail and the highest arch of our brow, which is gonna be right here on me. So we're gonna focus on this part right here. I am not gonna go from where my brows go straight up. I'm not gonna start at the end of that where my hair starts going towards the side. I'm going to start directly on the highest point of my arch, and I'm gonna connect that part of my hair to the tail end of my brow. You are gonna look slightly crazy, but this is the best way and the easiest way that I have found to make sure your brows are even. So now that I have this highest point of my brow done, I'm gonna now focus on this side of my brow and only do the highest arch to the tail. From what I can tell, they do look pretty even. I think the only part that is a little bit different is like right in this area here on this brow, but I don't think it's too bad. Again, this is a lot of back and forth, but once you get really good at this, I can like get my brows done in a couple minutes and it is golden. So now that we have the tail end, we have the underline, everything all exactly how we want it to be. So you naturally have hair that goes straight up and then you have hair that goes to the side. So right where that hair that is straight up ends, that is where I'm going to now connect the line between those hairs and the arch of my brow. So I'm going to go right here and you can see there's like a basically like a naked area right here where my brows just naturally are very sparse. I'm going to connect that line and then fill in my brow, like so. I'm then gonna take the spoolie end, only in my eyebrow, I'm gonna start to take that and just really blend out the color, but I'm not gonna blend out the color that is on my skin where the tail of my brow ends. I wanna keep that as dark as I possibly can, so I don't wanna blend that. And make sure that the skin underneath here is covered. If there's a little bit of sparseness where you kinda overblend the, the product, that's fine. Just go back in with a light hand and just kinda fill that in. So you can just see how much more of, a, of just a nice, thick, brow I have. With this brow, I am not going beyond where my hair actually stops other than the tail end of my brow. I naturally have a lot of hair on the top of my brow, but because I'm very light and very fair skinned, it doesn't show up as much. I am now going to go in with the spoolie side of this once again after I'm done blending everything out. I'm going to take this and where those hairs go directly straight up, I'm going to lightly, and I'm like barely applying any pressure, I'm going to drag where that line is and I'm going to lightly diffuse it. And you can see that it still gives me a nice line where my brow is, but it diffuses it and makes that front end of the brow very natural looking and it gives those hairs a lot of thickness and a, obviously there's not more hair there but it does make it appear like there is more hair. And this is why I love this brow product so much because it does blend so well into the skin. Now the only thing that I notice with my brows naturally is this hair tends to grow more towards the middle and this one kind of does the same hair growth but because they're not both facing this way I get more of a this type of line situation. So I do have to normally take this brow pencil and just lightly, like I'm barely touching my skin, kind of fake that same hair growth. So I'm just gonna lightly fill in kind of where that hair would naturally go this way and it does even out my brows as you can see a little bit more. So that is basically it as far as filling in 
the brows. This pencil is seriously the best. I highly, highly, highly recommend this. If you can get your hands on this at your Ulta, your Target, wherever. I usually go to Walgreens and pick this up. It is amazing. And obviously you can stop right here. Like you don't have to go any further with this brow. This is definitely a very wearable brow. However, my hair naturally likes to fall down. And if it falls down, it kind of breaks up the thickness and it kind of gives you almost like this heaviness right here and especially where we fake that tail end of our brow gives me such a heaviness because there is so much hair in this area same thing on this side so we're gonna move on to the next product so the last and basically I feel like the most important part of this brow is going to be the gel so I don't use a brow gel I actually use a hair gel so this is the got to be glued styling spiking glue and it is water resistant. This is super glue in a bottle for hair gel, but I like to use it on my brows. So this is another really important part as to why I like to keep my base still wet. I like to keep it free of powders before I do this gel. So I'm going to take a spoolie. This is from AOA Studios. I got this in the pack from MissA.com in the brush pack that I got on that video. It did come with a spoolie. However, the spoolie that is on the e.l.f. brows is actually really, really good too. What else I really like about this is because it is hair gel, it is meant to be washed out. If you do use this and it gets a little crusty, a little soap a little bit of water, scrub, 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 and it comes right out of the spoolie. So you're not ruining your spoolie by basically putting super glue on it. And this literally will last you forever. Another really key point that I want to talk about is I have not noticed any breakouts and my skin is super, super sensitive. So the fact that I haven't had any breakouts around my brow or anything like that says a lot about it. So let's go ahead, let's zoom you guys back into these brows and let's glue them down. We are already seeing just from like the two minutes that it took me to film that last part, you guys can already see some of this brow hair is really starting to kind of fall down. I'm going to squeeze a little bit out of the top here and then I do have my spoolie as I drag it along my sweater and get hair all over it. You do see that my spoolie is kind of bent at almost a 45 degree angle. So I'm going to squeeze a little bit out of the top of this tube and I'm going to take the one side and just drag it along and then I'm going to do the other side and drag that along as well. And I'm going to kind of coat these bristles, not super thick, but enough to give me a little bit of product on both sides. Here is the secret with keeping your brows from kind of getting like this spiky look on the top. I'm not going to go straight up. I'm not going to go straight out. I'm going to do it at kind of like this line, almost falling with the natural kind of angle of your brow. And it is super sticky, so be careful. I wanna get super close and show you guys this because it is important for everyone to know how to do this perfect brow. So I'm just taking my time, going carefully along the brow, and this stuff dries down super quick, so you gotta be you gotta be quick about it. Then you can kind of see that there's some sparse hairs. What I'm gonna do is just take my spoolie and just kind of get those babies in line and gives you a really nice fluffy brow. I'm now gonna take this spoolie once again and in those hairs that do grow directly up, I am going to push them directly up. So we gotta talk about this quickly before this weird part here dries. Now, in order to blend this straight up and down hair to the hair that grows sideways, I'm gonna again just take this part and just kind of naturally let them fall in line. Look how much more fluffy and like put together this brow looks compared to this brow. It really just gives you a nice definition of all of the hairs. And what else I really like is because it's gluing down the tail end of my brow, it does give this part where the hair ends and the fake tail begins. It makes it look a lot more natural versus this side. Let's go ahead and take the spoolie that has a glue on the other side of it and fix this brow as well. I mean, come on, those are some good looking brows and it does not take a lot of glue. So just remember, don't pack on a ton of glue. You can still see I have so much glue left on the spoolie. I probably didn't need to go that close to the end because I mostly just use the outer edge of this, but it gives you such a good 
looking brow. Now these are almost like a laminated brow but like a DIY and like not an actual laminated brow because it's not going to stay which is kind of the part of the laminated brow that I'm really not into. So if you do want like a laminated brow but you don't actually want to laminate it, this is definitely the way to go. That is basically how I accomplish this perfect even brow with beauty products that are found at the drugstore and it is so affordable. It gives you such a beautiful, beautiful brow. And honestly, the fact that you can go from looking so like sparse. Obviously, I love my natural brows, but I do love filling them in. I feel like it just complements my face so much more. It brings everything up. Like your girl's got a big forehead. So if I can at least get a couple millimeters of forehead gone by bringing my eyebrow up this way, I am here for it. The worst part is, is when you're spending so much time on your brows and they end up looking like this and you're just like, what the hell? But this is the, this is the easiest way that I have found to accomplish such a even and perfect brow. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoy my channel. If you guys want more of these like back to basics type of makeup tutorials, please let me know. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you guys enjoy my channel. Make sure that you guys do stay tuned every single Sunday for a upload. Subscribe down below. I love you guys so, so much and I will catch you guys next week. Bye guys.